What's up everybody, Supreme Decisions here. And today, I wanna to go into a quick story. We've been watching the video, or if you haven't seen it, might wanna go check it out just to see, get a little bit more context of what I'm speaking about. It's a Lafayette, Louisiana judge. She had a break-in a few days ago. And in the break-in, in a home video, her and her husband used the N-word basically a racial slur. Now, as a sitting judge, Louisiana does not really have a means of going after or even disciplining a judge when they do something. But you have the NAACP and many people asking for her rec resignation or her leaving the bench in some form in a means of protest against this type of behavior. Now, this young lady has already issued a statement of apologizing, saying she was on sedative. The problem is she didn't say her husband was on sedative, so. But what's the biggest issue right now that anyone would have with the judge being removed? And what is available to those that have been before this judge? Well, when you talk about it, you have an ethics committee. You also have this thing called a civil rights violation due to bias. When you have someone that has openly used a racial slur in a non, I guess, emotional or heightened state, even if it was not during court, there are things that are required such as proof that there has been some sort of unethical behavior. This video that is public now is one of those things that can be used for the judge. So if you've been before this judge in any form and you've been convicted, you can actually use this video in a means of overturning your conviction because any hint of bias is a due process violation. I'm gonna say that again. Any hint of racial or racially motivated bias in a court decision can now be used as a due process violation and you can actually get your conviction overturned. These are the things why they don't want these things happening, why they would actually have a judge before something like this goes public to retire or to resign or even prosecutors because it becomes a mess because every time someone is involved with this person, they have an opportunity to pretty much go into that person's history to see of any more potential biased moments. So that's all I have for right now. I'm gonna be giving you guys more and more videos because I'm ramping up, I'm going into something new. And in that something new, I'm looking to give you guys something greater. So this is Supreme. Don't forget to join the channel. Podcast comes out every Monday. 5 a.m., new story, new show, support the podcast. You can do it with monthly donations. There's going to be a link. It's on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Pandora, and all your major podcasting platforms, as well as join the channel. We're also on Patreon. I'm trying to get the message out, and I'm also trying to make sure you guys have an opportunity to see, listen, and grow with me. So, that being said, Supreme.